you know, piggybacking off of last week. Well, first of all, welcome to the vlog. Okay, get on with that. I, I, I was talking about how someone from the company Draft, the company that got bought out for $50 million from FanDuel last summer, reached out to them because the director of marketing and one of the co-founders had seen a video that I put out using their platform. I got in touch with the director of marketing, but one of the co-founders and I followed each other on Twitter. So I was like, I'm gonna go straight to the source. We're going straight for the sauce. I'm super impatient. Like when I have something that I want, when I have like a, like I have no patience with this shit. Like I know that I want something and that's all I can think about for the next day, two days, three days, whatever. And I just, I, I have to have it like immediately. And that's, it's a bad problem to have, especially when you want to purchase something because as soon as I have like this monitor, this fucking $700 monitor, as soon as I'm like, oh, I want a second monitor by like the next day, I will have another monitor. But that kind of works in my favor in a situation like this. So as you can tell, I'm antsy right now because I reached out to the co-founder via Twitter DM and he saw it last night but didn't respond and now he just responded and I only got a notification so I could see like the first 10 words of it but I haven't opened it yet because I'm fucking nervous, that's why. So yeah, I don't know. These vlogs I just like to capture like the most fucking raw emotions of my day and my life. So I felt like this would be a good one. So I'm about to sit down and read the response that he just sent to me. And by the way, if you're new to the vlogs, hello, this is basically a behind the scenes of me videotaping my entire life of building up my company, my brand, my YouTube channel, all my social, my friends, my passions, my hobbies, and everything in between. I've been doing these now for, I don't know, a year, year and a half. They come out bi-weekly every other Wednesday, which is just permitting with my schedule right now. Maybe they'll change more frequently, less frequently. Let's read this fucking Twitter DM. Hey, thanks for reaching out. I love the mock draft you did. It would be great to find a way to continue to work together. Sounds like you've been talking to David on our end. He mentioned you might be in NYC in the near future. We should grab some time to chat then if that's the case. I'd love to hear about what we can do to improve your experience creating content using draft. Also feel free to hit me at blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So I probably shouldn't have jumped the gun there. And now I feel like an, an idiot. Not an idiot, but like, I had been talking to the other guy, David, prior to reaching out to the co-founder, but it was more just like starting a relationship and I, I went straight for the co-founder just to, you know, talk about some kind of business partnership and relationship and I, you know, I could have probably went with David with that too, but I, like I said, I get antsy, I get anxious. So I mean, that, was, that wasn't a bad exchange. That definitely sounds like they, they would like to work together. So I'll have to wait for, for David to get back to me and hopefully we could make some magic. Yo, things are like so, I, I could just feel it. Like shit's about to explode. And uh, ugh, I've never been so in the zone. I've been waking up so fucking early. Like I told Steve, I've been waking up at almost like 4 a.m. every day for the last like two weeks. And it's not like I'm getting horrible sleep, which I am. If you're waking up at 4 a.m., you're probably, get, you're either psycho or you're getting horrible sleep. But it's like, it, 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 I, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and it just so happens to be about like four o'clock. I try not to be, this is the most cliche thing you could ever say. But like, you know, you want to have a job where you jump out of bed ready to work. This last like month, two months, I've been so fucking excited to get up and get out of bed and start working and just like building this vision. And for some reason, I don't, like I'd always been passionate about what I've been doing for the last couple years, but like it's really fucking, maybe because it's coming real. Maybe one, because I'm moving out soon into the new apartment. And two, because a lot of these things are finally coming to fruition, right? I'm developing these partnerships. Maybe that's it, but like, I don't know. The picture has never been clearer for where I want to go and what I want to do and, and the shit I'm going to accomplish. And I'm like right on the cusp of just massive things happening here. And I might sound like a fucking crazy person, but mark my words, man. Come like October, November, I just think there's just so much success that's, that's gonna happen in this brain right here. So enjoy the rest of the vlog. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm uh, starting to 
unwind the HQ. I already moved my mattress into the car. Most of my clothes are gone, although I have so many damn clothes you couldn't tell. The hats are gone, the shoes are moving. Yeah, the house is just a mess. I'm starting to pack up boxes and move things out. I don't know if you could see into my mom's car. Everything's piled to the top. Uh, today's Friday. I move in officially. The lease starts on Monday. We're moving in on Sunday because we already have the keys. But I'm going in today. I'm driving in with my friend Brandon to just start moving shit in. And you know, this is uh, it, it, it's a weird time for me. This is like the first time I'm gonna be moving out on my own. I mean, I lived at college for four years and I studied abroad in Australia for five or six months. But this is the first time that I'm gonna be, you know, completely financially on my own. And it's the first time I'm leaving, you know, this town, the town in New Jersey that I grew up in, right? I've been here for, I don't know, since I was in pre-K kindergarten, since I was like five, six years old. So I've been here for almost 20 years now. And I'm not gonna get too sentimental because I'm not like too sad about leaving. I'm not gonna be far away. I'll be back pretty often. But as I'm like cleaning out my room, you know, there's just like a lot a lot of like kind of memories going through my head, you know, I'm, I'm shit stored in like random drawers that I'm cleaning out of like cars I've received and, and pictures of, of like old girlfriends and just other things. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of memories just like flashing by. And I'm kind of nervous, but I'm super excited to begin the next chapter of my life as, as people who, can't think of anything clever to say would normally say. So when me and Brandon get to the apartment, I'm assuming it's gonna be completely empty and cleaned and everything. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Raw skeleton, bare bone. All right, so we in here. We're in here, bro. So my dog, Brandon Marlowe, helped me move this place in. So we got the living room. We're gonna post up a, a, a 55 inch TV. Wilson snagged a huge one from his brother. This is the new desk. This is 30 inches up, 60 inches that way. A little standing mat, the mic. All we need is one mic, one life, one love, baby. This is the outdoor look. See a cutie right there. It's gonna be a good shit. We got a barbershop down there. Filthy Ridge Barbershop. It's Wilson's room. It's my cribbo. Windowless. Yeah, so I don't, I've never put the, the big in the back of my videos you'll see like the big dog's got to eat like sign poster thing but it lights up it gets real bright so we're thinking at night we're just gonna put it here facing that way put it on like bright and make it look like the bat signal and just leave it on all hours of the day it's gonna become an attraction in new york i'm all in but we gotta wait till sunday to bring the rest of this shit oh man we scratched the fuck out of the floor huh thanks all right, I'm gonna set the desk up over here. So when you guys watch my videos, it'll probably look at this view. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good lighting. I'm all in, I'm all in. Yeah. What do you wanna do? You wanna walk around the hood a little bit? See what's fresh? Maybe see something. Then there will be enough. Then we'll go back home, no thing. Tell me where is my mind? No surrender, you say. We forget so we can find. So let it console my soul I remember you then Say they never let me go We could be something else We could be free, we could be I see you dancing You say we're running Yes, and I love you like I have always We stay romancing They'll say we're coming down Lost in these feelings Locking me sideways for me. My mom looks like she belongs in Brooklyn. Skateboard shells. Herschel backpack. Good Uncle Fred. Right. Savage. <laughs> uh, you could throw that in my room in the back by where the headboard is. We have it. I've been doing this like uh, workout in the gym, like mountain climbers, push-ups, all that stuff. Jump rope. And I haven't been doing like two or three runs a week like I should. But I go on the weekend and I run, but I but I tell you the workout that I'm doing now. Panic and lose my head. I was falling away. Yeah, we do like four or five rounds of it too. Yeah. Holy I, I didn't know what a lot of the exercises were. Yeah, no, they like know. Yeah, like yeah, 20 seconds on, 10, or yeah, 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 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 
Rooms coming together. I'm all in. A little shoe rack. Mirror. I'm loving the, like the big ass mirror. Oh, you need a curtain for your window? What is that for? For your window. A non-fucking existing window. Okay, so we're pretty much all moved in. Wilson's in here. Went to get his pizza. This is the room. I'm a fan. It's actually very, very big. We got the full-size mirror that's six feet tall, so it's a little taller than your man's. Perfecto. I'm looking at myself naked. Got this nice lamp that kind of lights up everything. $20 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Fucking steel. Hell of room for clothes. All the storage in the world. I took the, <clears throat> the doors off. Life hack, don't put doors on your closet. Life is much better without them. Super cheer, kitchen. No one shit that really matters. Tequila, Marg Mix, let's get it. And this is the view out the front. It's a dope area up in Williamsburg because there are just a lot of new restaurants opening up. A lot of cool spots. So I'm super excited to be here. All right, so I am, we bike. The original HQ looks fucking depressing. I feel like I'm in a prison right now. It's like 10 p.m. Just finished filming Fades of Public. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to commute back because we've been building a studio in Max's basement. So every Monday night when we film, I'm gonna have to commute back from Brooklyn to New Jersey to film it and then travel back the next morning. The Rookie Dynasty Draft Guide launched this morning and Wix.com is the software I use to house the guide and they completely fucking shit the bed and they just have a ton of technical problems going on today. I've been getting emails nonstop. So I was on the phone with Wix for about two and a half hours today trying to fix it, getting emails from customers and messages from customers. Between being on the phone with them for two and a half hours, prepping and getting ready for filming the Faith Public podcast, driving back from Brooklyn, New Jersey, today's been fucking miserable. And the whole moving process has just been a long one. So I apologize for the lack of content in this vlog, but I promise things are gonna get up and coming soon. Once spring hits, these things are gonna be fucking mwah beautiful and i think i can fly my drone in brooklyn you're not allowed to fly a drone in manhattan actually it's illegal so i got a haircut i'm driving back to brooklyn at like 5 a.m tomorrow i have a haircut at 11 30. the barbershop right next door to me it's called filthy rich barbershop the guy who i'm getting a haircut from tomorrow cuts emmanuel sanders his haircut so i don't know how my hair is going to come out but i need a haircut so i've been cutting my own hair for the last like month and a half and it's it's time i don't know what the fuck i'm doing anymore so hopefully this guy cuts me up real nice and good but you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next vlog to see how the hair comes out yeah so that's it if you enjoy the vlog make sure you hit that thumbs up stay tuned for the next one i don't know i'm done i'm about to go sleep on the floor i'm waiting for the faith of public podcast to upload to the computer in another 20 minutes send it over to my editor have him finish it up i'm so tired Bye. I love you.